This is Jill Denise. So sit on my spirit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's one of Sao Paulo's newly elected state congressmen and a family friend of Brazil's new president, Jair Bolsonaro. O cheiro da pólvora vicia. Não cheire cocaína, cheire pólvora. Cheire. His mission to restore the moral fiber of his country. This is Luana Hansen. She's a lesbian rapper, furious that the country's politics has swung to the right. Her mission, to fight to protect LGBT rights under the new government. We're here during Carnival, when the LGBT community are out, loud and proud. But the newly elected president has declared himself a proud homophobe. Jair Bolsonaro even said he'd rather have a dead son than a gay son. Just hours after his inauguration, Bolsonaro scrapped the government unit that protected LGBT rights. For many, this was his opening shot in a major cultural battle, all part of an effort to silence the LGBT community. Liberdade e amor, e viva a felicidade do carnaval! Muito obrigado! I've been keeping an eye on the news since I came to Brazil, and some of the homophobic murders and attacks are horrific. There was a man who was anally raped by his colleagues in a car wash. They used a high-pressure hose pipe and killed him with internal injuries. There's another story about a trans woman who had her heart ripped from her body and replaced by the image of a saint. The Inter-American Commission on Human Rights says homophobic attacks almost trebled during President Bolsonaro's campaign. As a staunch conservative, Congressman Gilles doesn't approve of carnival. Instead, he's invited me to join in his favorite tradition, a Brazilian barbecue. Professional. What? Professional. No, no, you, no, no. you know what you're doing. You, go, you do it. I always have this impression of, uh, of Brazilians and the barbecue, but it's always men. It's a very masculine tradition. Is that is that correct? É não é uma não é uma é uma característica da 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 identidade nacional. Gil's friend, President Bolsonaro, has become his political mentor. They've both been elected on a promise to restore Brazilian family and religious values. It's quite a strong sense in Brazil of. This is a man and this is a woman. For instance, there seems to be this obsession with boys wear blue and girls wear pink. Would it bother you if your son was playing with, uh, with dolls and kitchens and wearing pink clothes? No, 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 me incomodaria. Meus meninos jogam bola, brincam de carrinho, fazem arte marcial, lutam karatê, são escoteiros. Agora, o que eu não permito, o que eu não posso permitir, Que na escola, a professoras incentivando eles a brincar de boneca. Next week, Gil will take his seat as a new congressman in Sao Paulo's state assembly. He says his party's first priority will be to stop children being taught in school about LGBT rights. O professor ele está ali para passar um conteúdo, para ensinar português. Matemática. Ele não está ali para ensinar a, ou aflorar 
a sexualidade da, da criança. Isso é uma responsabilidade que cabe ao pai e à mãe. Across town, rapper Luana is raising her family. É o meu momento também favorito, buscar na escola. She's picking up her children, Lenin and Manuela. Luana and her wife are the only gay parents at the school. So that seemed quite relaxed in terms of the other parents. Is it always like that? Com as pessoas ficam em cima da Manuela. Da Manuela não sinto tanto. Acho que é porque ela é mulher. Mas com o Lenin, eu vejo uma cobrança maior de não ter essa presença masculina. Então aí eu vejo que as pessoas meio que acham que o Lenin vai virar gay. Oh. The couple met four years ago when Glaucia came out. She already had her two children. Eu não sei viver sem a Manuela, sem o Lenin. Eu brinco, falo até com ela, falo assim, ó, se a gente um dia terminar, eles vão ser meus filhos, porque a gente até brinca, porque é um amor é extenso, é é é maior, é inexplicável. O amor que eles me dão é natural. Brazilian conservatives glorify the traditional family, but Luana feels families like hers are being undermined. A gente sabe que de uma maneira ou outra todo o ódio que tem em cima da gente transmuta para eles. As pessoas olham para eles como se eles tivessem culpa de ter duas mães, sabe? Luana earns a living rapping about life as a black lesbian in Brazil. But she says in the last few months, her radical lyrics have made mainstream venues reluctant to book her. Só que é uma relação que dá muito medo. Porque quando a gente não consegue alguma coisa, ou quando o mês aperta... Glaucia is unemployed, but tomorrow she's got a job interview. So, Glaucia, what kind of look are you going for? Uh, I guess I, I, I try to be straight, normative <laughs> look, because I need to, to have a more regular job so we can have more stability right now. A lot of friends of mine, they can't uh, say that they are lesbians at the work. While Glaucia has to play straight for work, this year's carnival crowd are challenging Bolsonaro and the Conservatives. This is Kevin's party. It used to be a private sex party. Everyone would turn up naked in a nightclub somewhere in Sao Paulo and basically have sex and dance all night. But this year, the first year of Bolsonaro's presidency, they've decided to take it out onto the streets. And now it's just another carnival party. It's chaps, it's thongs, it's three-way snogging. This is the kind of thing that Jill and the conservative movement in Brazil would absolutely despise. While they're pushing boundaries, Congressman Jill is about to start pushing legislation. He's invited me into the heart of President Bolsonaro's mission control in Sao Paulo. How are you, man? Hey. PSL Party State Headquarters. So as Bolsonaro is such an important influence in this party, what do you think he's expecting from these guys, the leadership? No, he espera que que nós sigamos a a a linha dele, né? Essa linha de combate à corrupção, de enfrentamento ao crime organizado, de enxugar a máquina pública, né? While the president appears to have toned down his anti-gay rhetoric since taking office. I want to find out how LGBT rights fit in with the new government's politics. No, he's, he's the main man. Oh. Yeah, he's the main man. Gay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? You got that right? you got that. <laughs> His gay joke aside, Gil introduces me to Rodrigo Moraes, one of the party's policy makers. He's being forced well, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, I'm a conservative, mm -hmm. I'm a right-winger. I'm actually a big fan of Nigel Farage. Oh, really? Uh, Depois dele, você tem o Trump. 
né? Você tem, você tem Bolsonaro, você tem o, o, na, na, na Polônia, um, Hungria, Colômbia, então... Well, yeah. Rodrigo believes LGBT rights are a distraction. What the elections are showing mm -hmm. all around the world, not only Brazil, that this is more like a, some, some outsider agenda uh, and not a, not, not a the little people's agenda, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe gay marriage is not what we really need today. Uh, I mean, we can talk about gay marriage. You have your opinion, I have mine, he has his. It doesn't, it, it's not the core issue. Mm. Is it fair to say then that you see everything, whether it be gay rights, uh, gay marriage, gay adoption, it's not a done deal for you in Brazil? Oh, it'll never be. It will never be. It will never be. Mm. I don't think it, we're going to get uh, mm. that settled. Uh, because, well, you get one right and you want the next one, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is Avenida Paulista and every Sunday it gets pedestrianized so that people can come out and do pretty much whatever they want. So you've got everybody in their little tribes. There are a group of socialists protesting down there. There are a group of punks singing and dancing over the corner here. And right here, there's a group of conservatives protesting. They call this the Gaza Strip because there are so many different competing ideologies who regularly clash. Fora liberal! Fora liberal! Viva nacionalismo! Viva! Out in force today are some of Sao Paulo's radical right-wing groups. Further down the road, Luana is busking with her family. E a luta continua sempre. Muito obrigado pelo espaço. Are you sometimes afraid to do your like more militant stuff out in the public? Eu aprendi a militar, lutar e acreditar e usar o hip hop, usar o rap. Então a gente tá aqui ocupando esse espaço é militância também. Mm -hmm. When I speak to you both, you're Brazilian. You're clearly very proud to be Brazilian. Eu amo o Brasil. Amo mesmo, de verdade. É a minha terra, é o meu povo, é o clima, é a comida. É, minha, é meu, meu povo mesmo, mas eu falo isso de coração partido. Mas eu, como lésbica, eu não posso criar meus filhos do jeito que eu queria. Eu não vou poder dar a vida que eu quero dar para meus filhos. E aí, eu, então, infelizmente, é, se hoje eu tivesse uma oportunidade de ir para um outro país, Luana is eligible for a German passport, so she could leave if things get really bad. Eu acho que para mim a gota d'água seria a, a agressão chegar direta mesmo para mim assim, direta mesmo assim de, de um, do fato de eu sair de casa e que eu não vejo tão distante da nossa realidade, mas eu acho que seria uma gota d'água mesmo assim. Para mim a gota d'água já foi dada quando a gente aceitou o Bolsonaro como presidente assim. Luana's fear isn't far-fetched. Brazil is now one of the world's most dangerous places to be LGBT. Someone from that community is killed every 16 hours. Later that night, I'm back on Avenida Paulista. I'm here to meet Anderson Souza. Two months ago, he was here with his husband at the height of the president's campaign. Daí nós estava vindo do Ibirapuera, que a gente foi ver um show lá, aí chegou do nada, falando que a gente era dois, é duas, é duas menininhas, pra gente andar igual homem, lá é dois viadinhos, nisso ele já veio por aqui, na nossa direção minha e do meu marido, ofendendo a gente, falando que a gente era preto, que a gente tinha que morrer, que a gente era viado. Anderson and his friends began to chase the man away, not realizing his husband had been stabbed.
É a hora que ele levanta a camiseta e vê que ele tomou uma facada. Isso é isso. Isso, que ele faz assim com a blusa. É, não vai, eu tomei uma facada. E tava falando com ele. Tipo, fala comigo, não dorme. E a partir disso ele não falou mais nada. É igual eu falei, ele paralisou o olho, só olhou pra mim e uma lágrima escorreu. A única coisa que aconteceu. Is he breathing? Não, nem esperava mais. Anderson's husband, Plinio de Almeida Lima, was 30 years old. A man has been charged with his murder. Chego do serviço, não tem aquela palavra, sabe? Tipo, tô com você. Tô passando várias coisas na minha vida, mas não tem mais ele. Pra sentar tá nego, ó. Vai por aqui. Sabe? Porque ele poderia ter todos os efeitos, mas ele era coração, sabe? E hoje eu vejo sem isso, sabe? Hoje eu vejo sem minha felicidade. The rise of the conservative right in Brazil has galvanized the LGBT population. Today they're having a protest right in the middle of carnival. They're trying to encourage the courts to make homophobia illegal, just like racism. Nós estamos vivendo tempos muito difíceis no Brasil. Não deixem que ninguém pisoteie a nossa dignidade. Luana! Luana and Glaucia have come to join in. What would it mean to you if homophobia was actually made illegal? Para mim, a principal dificuldade de criar uma lei a respeito virar uma lei, um crime, é porque tudo que é criminal você tem que tratar com prevenção. Então, além de virar um crime, é você parar de tratar de racismo. É uma maneira de President Bolsonaro has said same-sex marriages are a blow to family unity and family values. So just before he was elected, Luana and Glaucia rushed to tie the knot like hundreds of other same-sex couples across Brazil. É um casamento que era um casamento tipo um ato político também contra o Bolsonaro. A gente postou nossa foto de casamento. Yeah. E aí, entre, entre os comentários, a gente começa a receber isso aqui, ó. Do you know this person? No. No. E aí, tipo, a gente começa a receber de várias pessoas, ó. Porque eles são, tipo, eu acho que são tipo haters que vão entrando. Courts and politicians have been debating this homophobia law for seven years. President Bolsonaro will fight it every step of the way. Gil has been doing his own research. Sim, é a parada gay. Ah, já fazem duas ou três que que eu fui que eu fui lá para ver em loco, né? E até fazer algumas imagens. Gil uploaded the images to his YouTube channel. To him, they're proof that Carnival is no longer a place for families. I left it to the public to evaluate if, for example, a uma parada como aquela is an environment, a festa for children. Pra, pra crianças. Do you think the other people in this bar would agree with you? I do. Não, é bom. You do? <laughs> yeah. Right. It came to a point where basically there's propaganda in schools of it. Okay. So a lot of young guys are, you know, it's like, no, you have to try it. If you don't like it, it's, it's okay. Really? It's something like this. Their teachers are trying to tell them they should yes. try being gay. They they don't want to say it, but eventually you get to to. Uh, to, to figure out that that's what's happening. Jill and Ricardo tell me they're sick of playing politically correct. Estão criminalizando a opinião. Você vai lá da sua opinião, você é, sei lá, racista. Você é contra a cota, racista. Você é contra a sexualização de crianças em sala de aula. Você é homofóbico.
The next day, I'm at Love Fest. It's the biggest LGBT gathering of this year's carnival in Sao Paulo. Luana and Glaucia are preparing for a big day. Oh my God, so much glitter. The conservative politician that I've been spending time with came to Gay Pride last year and filmed it. And he was filming children and men kissing and he put that all on YouTube. Do you think you'll see more of that kind of thing today? Isso daí já é uma, uma, uma coisa típica deles. Eles pegam imagens nossas é, aleatórias e criam filmes. Eles vão usar muito isso. Eu acho que é uma grande é um prato cheio. Before I came to Brazil, I had the impression that the LGBT community were going to be afraid, hiding. But what I found is actually you're more active, more present. Então agora o que cabe mesmo é incomodar, é fazer revolução, é ir pra rua, é meter bandeira, é se assumir, é beijar mesmo na rua, é mostrar a nossa cara. Porque se a gente não fizer isso, a gente vai ser invisibilizado mais do que a gente já vem sendo há, há anos. There's nothing invisible about this. Everyone is loved up and they're dancing their hearts out. This really is an act of defiance. And Luana has finally got a paying gig. She's performing to her biggest crowd ever. And it feels like half the city's come out for it. Luana's anti-Bolsonaro lyrics are such a hit, she's invited back for an encore. The day after we left, President Bolsonaro tweeted an explicit video of a gay sex act taking place at Carnival. He said he wanted to expose the truth about what Carnival has become. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe for more award-winning documentaries from the Unreported World team. We upload videos every Sunday, keeping you up to date with content from all over the world.